Hello everyone, I am Hannah and at the beginning of next year I want to open my first ever online store for my art pieces and in order to be able to offer some special original pieces I want to paint on little paper boxes for example. I already covered them in gesso so that it's going to be easier to paint on them and I also placed the preliminary drawings on here and before I did that I just made some little sketches just to get an idea of what I want and the reason I'm showing you everything of this so quickly is because today we are here for the painting process so I would say let's get into painting So I started by painting the bottom half of the boxes and in general with such things I'm actually always a little impatient to really wait so long until everything is a hundred percent dry and this has often made it quite messy. Do I learn from it? No, but although to work against it somehow I always alternate between the boxes so that the paint can dry at least a little. And the white blouse I'm wearing here is a pretty new thrifted blouse I'm really in love with and I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to wear a white blouse for painting but surprisingly somehow blue paint came onto my sleeve. Who would have thought that? In my store I would like to offer mainly prints and postcards of my paintings but since I know that some people prefer originals and I would also like to offer some form of original I thought it would be nice to offer a few special painted objects that would be for example these cardboard boxes but I will also offer air dry clay boxes, small painted mini frames and glass lockets um, Oh yeah, and lastly I have a huge amount of handmade necklaces for which I took the product photos with a friend a few days ago in an 8 hour session. So thanks to her that she was so kind to help me with that. The necklaces aren't of course painted or something but uh, yeah, they will also be up in my shop.
As in many of my works, I have chosen to color in purple blue tones since those are my favorite colors. And I also really like to paint a little smiley face on the bottom of each of my boxes because then it smiles at you when you open it and I think it's kind of cool. Okay, it's the next day and of course I'm also going to show you the final results. I am quite satisfied with the boxes and I'm already excited to see how they will be going in my store. As I said, I plan to open the store early next year as soon as I have finished my bachelor project. But I'm also working on a video that documents the whole process of preparing the store and I will also publish this together with the shop but will still give you updates in my videos until then. Uh, yeah and that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe have painted yourself. If you like the video and haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to catch you in the next one. Goodbye!